you could say my career is being a little interesting towards the end. Signing a deal with Miami, then being bounced out after that, even though signing a two-year deal, they bought out my contract and said I'm a free agent. My beautiful wife retired from the WNBA, winning a couple more championships and whatnot. And then the Indiana Pacers signed me, but it didn't last long as they were trying to go all in and then it didn't go so well to the point where they traded me to the Philadelphia 76ers, kind of a hometown team. And my role was different in Philadelphia. I wasn't the guy anymore. You see, the Sixers are coming off back-to-back -back NBA titles with Jackson Newton, a young up-and-coming guard. I knew I wasn't the hot man in town anymore, but being a savvy vet, the Sixers told me, hey, you're going to be our sixth man, seventh man coming off the bench, being a, our best bench guy, but more importantly, mentoring Jackson, telling him how to, be, how to do the ropes, how to be an NBA pro. Plus, chasing a ring, I didn't think it was bad at all. So I figured, why not end my career where I wanted to go, where my brother, my dad, loved the Sixers, grew up playing in the same arena. To me, it was a surreal moment, and hopefully I could end my career on top as an NBA champ. <sighs> Even after Dwayne got traded, they lost to the Cavs, who apparently have someone really good yeah alright well that kind of sucks because he basically went to do his thing look at that Pablo Van Caro retires Jalen Duran Manuel Santiago former teammate and draftee of Dwayne as well he finally retired He's finally kicking it. Five-time champ, ten-time all-star. I hope he's a Hall of Famer. Mr. John Mayer won a couple of picks after as well. Um, yeah, no one too crazy. Staff, Steve Kerr finally did. Pablo Vincaro and Manuel Santiago, Hall of Famers. And Manuel got his jersey retired in... Utah and Washington as well. The Sixers lost. <laughs> they were up 3-1 and lost to the Pistons. And the Kings would go and beat the Raptors. Ay ay ay. Victor Wimmy finally retires uh, as a 10-time NBA champ. Basically dominating the 20s into the 40s. Only a three-time champ, 17-time All-Star. Uh, first team All-NBA 13 times. Second team All-NBA 13 All-NBA as well. Career average of... 24, 12, 3... And almost three blocks as well. Uh, Scoot Henderson... Retired as well, Brandon Miller, Brandon Hill, who was on Utah, then got signed by Washington. And then our boy retired. Only averaging 9, 3, and 6 coming off the bench. Um, 16, 5, 9, almost 10 assists per game. With 1 and 3, he finished with two championships, two MVPs, 13 All-Star teams, five first-team All-NBA, five second-team, and one third-team All-NBA. Don't worry. He made it to the Hall of Fame. Victor Wimanyama, no surprise. Having 10 MVPs, 17 All-Star, 15 Defensive Player of the Years, absolutely insane. Uh, Dwayne made it as well. 13 All-Stars, two championships, two finals MVPs, five first team, five, one, 15 all defensive first teams, three, one, 
uh, yeah, kind of crazy. <sighs> really, really insane to think about. So it was a crazy 19-year career, as you basically saw from when they were drafted in 2023, 24-ish, when Mitiyama went on to win his first MVP in 2027, and then 2031, Dwayne did, and then after that, it was just Victor Wimbenyama crushing it. He retired. The reigning MVP is retired, which is insane. Um, champs, that's the crazy thing is, Jackson Newton, who Dwayne was mentoring the last two years of his career, they won the finals back. They won three finals in a row, and they couldn't get to it. Um, you know, but other than that, it was just Utah who absolutely dominated from 2028 with Jason Tatum, just completely dominated the NBA for a long, long time. Like they even made it to the finals. Hold on, let me do the math. Like besides 2020 or 2031, they've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven out of twelve years they made it to the finals, which is insane. So, I guess this series is done. But to look back, I guess you would say that him and Manuel Santiago were the best players in that draft. They had the most success in terms of MVPs, championships, all-stars, and they made also the Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, the first two picks before Dwayne didn't even make the Hall of Fame. One got his jersey retired, but that's basically it. And the craziest part is Brooklyn had two guys, Josh Steele and Dwayne Harris, who were all defensive team, multiple all-stars, Josh Steele was a borderline Hall of Famer, and they still couldn't get a championship done together. But I appreciate everything, you, the support on this series, and until next time, you guys have a good one. Peace.